What's up guys, Joey here. We are back, we are on the ice. It is Lake Simcoe. We finally got some ice out here. It's middle of January right now and we are sitting on about eight inches of nice solid black ice. Uh, I'm just looking at my transducer because we're having perch come through, but you know, we went to go try to get some whitey grounds early in the season, didn't work out. Oh, we're marking, we're marking, right? Oh, good marks, streaking up. Oh gosh, big school on me. Are they all good ones? Oh, oh my gosh, they're all giants. No, no, no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back, boys. Oh my gosh, these are all monster jumbos right now. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Make it seem like we're kind of like a goby right now. Got one off the bottom. He ate that off the bottom like a freaking white fish. It's a good one too. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, there's a jumbo. Good one. Eat that off the bottom. Oh no, we're wrapped. We are wrapped. Gotta get down there. Gotta get down there. Go, 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 go. Gotta get down there. Gotta get down there. Oh no, they're gone. What? Already they're gone? No, nope, there they are. There they are. They're just roaming around. Roaming around, got to hit that bottom. We made a real, a real crazy move. I was sitting on top of rock, maybe about 20 feet behind me. Couldn't get a mark. Could not get a mark. And then uh, I kind of just pushed out onto that mud. Onto that mud where I can kind of stir up more of a commotion. Real nice. The biggest thing when you're alone, either you can have two rods out. The problem with two rods, I find, is that I can't really target those bigger fish because that rod will have a minnow on it and I'll be, you're going crazy. So I got a heavy jigging wrap on. Uh, I'll tell you the size in a bit, but it's just to get down quick, stir up the bottom. Oh, and it's in goby color so that, you know, these, these perch are specifically eating gobies. Ooh, good school on me right now. Like, these are all good quality fish. Oh yeah, like good quality fish. Oh gosh, I didn't even feel that bite. But these are all big fish down there. Like all good ones. All good fish down there. That, one's, that one can go back to another day. Let's go get down there, get down there. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, my leader is just fried. No! They're stretching my leader out. Oh no, they're going. They're gone. On these flurries, guys, you gotta be down there. You gotta be going on them. You can't let them get away. My leader's just getting all stretched out. It's cold. Things are frigid. Oh jeez. Oh, what the heck was that? Was that a fish already? Oh, there wasn't really a fish. Oh, it is. Oh gosh, they're already back. I see them down the hole. Oh, this is so fun. You know, I wanted to go for whiteies, but I said I wanted to get on a good, a good perch bite before that season. These are all, all perfect size eaters. You know, nothing too crazy big, just perfect size eaters. And the school is is rolling in. The propane's dying. We're catching them. We're turning upside down day positive. We're turning upside down day positive, guys and girls and anglers. Of all trades. Hit that bottom. Oh my gosh. Dang. Cracked it. See, that one's small. I gotta get this one off. Yeah. You can tell the small ones from the big. Oh. Lucky we got some pinheads. Just that scent, guys. It's that scent. That scent. I, I swear on it. You know, you can sit out here all you want with lures. But I, I truly believe you get that little bit of a pinhead on. And that scent is what just makes them come. 
you can squeeze a pinhead in the water, you'll see that the scent and the oils just disperse. I truly believe that that's the whole game changer right now. That was a good little flurry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you carry a little old faithful with you. A little lighter, a little green propane tank. I'll tell you. Might as well talk about it right now since before I get too tired to talk about it, truly. <laughs> but we're out here like Simcoe uh, using ice custom rods. This is a light version. Um, super nice rod. I got them do my favorite custom color. So they can do any color you like. But this is a light action rod. It's got the EVA handle. I'm able to run a 2500 series reel on it because once I get into the whitey season, I'm actually using this rod for whiteys too. I'll run like a, a 10 gram vibrato with a top shot and you know it works just as good for, for whiteys also. But for the most part what we're running is just a jig and wrap, small jig and wrap with a, yeah, I'm hooked. With a tipped minnow, small little pinhead minnow on the bottom, small little pinhead minnow. And now, you know, you don't need to do that, but I just found with these perch that I spent time and time again chasing these perch on these big mud flats. You know, you gotta think of it, these big mud flats, you know, you can bang bottom all you like, but sometimes, you know, in that, you ever had that time where you bang bottom, you get them to come in, and then they kind of just they're not fired up, they're just not fired up. I just feel like they're not, they don't want to eat. But then all of a sudden you put on that little bit of a pin head on and the first one you get to bite, that whole school fires up and you don't need to add any bait on that hook for that whole school to be there. And you can pretty much pluck them one by one right after that. If you don't want to use the bait, no problem. Some guys don't want to use bait, but at the end of the day, you know, when you want to come out here, if you want to catch them, you know, when you want to have that success, that really good success, quality size jump. It's like, that one's probably about 13 inches. Like, that's a solid fish. Dozen them on the ice right now, that size. I wouldn't keep them any bigger. Anything over 13, I usually throw back. You're throwing those big breeders home so they can make more. Look at this. When you don't got a heater, everything's just ice. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. But stay tuned. Hopefully you get something out of this little video. I'm trying to put something together to help you guys out. But we're kind of sit off just off of a hump. So there's a hump that's rock. And then we kind of slid off into that big flat. So you got the hump. And then we're on that, like that flat just outside of it. Even a little bit further than that. On like the secondary flat. And it's just mud. And that mud is what's really caught. Mud and sand. The minute you're on that rock or really hard bottom, you're not really going to get anything to come by. Well, that's a wrap. We're cutting the day short. It's like one o'clock right now, 1.30. Um, it's really cold. We don't got a heater. Uh, ooh, let me show this. Don't got a heater. It's like minus 30 right now. Perch are real sluggish anyways, and uh, I can't really move around because obviously we got no heater. Lines are freezing. HUD is just frozen. Everything is just, look. Things become a lot tougher, and I don't really like to be out here without no heater, just because of safety also. Um, so we're gonna head back in, we're gonna recuperate, we're gonna go get a new heater, and just regroup. We need like a whole regroup right now. Sometimes that's what's needed. Early season, work the kinks out. We caught a couple perch today, showed you a couple lures, explained to you what I was kind of fishing. You know, that mud sand, absolute ideal when you're fishing out these perch. You know, we didn't absolutely crush them, but we got a, a decent amount for a good fish fry fish fry anyways stay tuned there's gonna be a lot more coming this season we got white fish we got lake trout stay fishy stay frosty make sure you smash that subscribe button okay